Hello, uh, this is me using my normal mic. Let me just switch it really quick. There we go. Oh my gosh, that's so much better. Today I'm doing a tutorial on how you can add more bass to your microphone and how you can also separate all of your audio tracks so that you can have separate windows recorded in OBS. And so to get started, we'll go to the website. I'll have all the links to these websites in the description below. So first you want to go to Voice Meter Banana. It'll be right here. You're going to see this. You're going to want to download the zip. Download just like that. I'll download mine to desktop. Some of you may not have WinRAR or 7-Zip. I'd recommend getting 7-Zip uh, or WinRAR to be able to open this folder. And then once it finishes downloading, you can open it. And then you'll get this. And this is where you get your voice meter set up. You can just open it. So I already have mine installed. So you can just do that on your own time. Once you have that installed, you're going to want to go to this part of the uh, website virtual audio cable and you're going to want to download vb cable audio virtual device whatever it is cable output i'll download mine to desktop as well and then you're going to want to open that and this one has a very specific way of installing so you'll have all these separate files here so what you want to do is this is the file just extract files and then it'll make a new folder with everything you have here and then you'll open that and then what you want to do from here um, it's a little specific you want to go down until you see VB cable setup time 64.exe right click on that and press run as administrator and then set up and install from there I already have mine installed so I don't need to do that and then once you install both of these you're going to want to restart your computer that is important otherwise it won't work okay so now we'll get into the other stuff um, that other website we'll get to that later so what I'm going to do first, I'm going to show you how to separate your audio. But to separate audio, what you want to do is go to A1 over here. Change this to whatever you have as your headset or speakers. I have mine set to my headset right here, USB. And then that's what you have for that. And then you'll also have your cable output installed. So you'll want to press on the third option here and make sure it is selected to cable output. And if it doesn't show up, I've had this happen before to a few friends of mine, you'll want to go to sounds. So go to the search bar and search for sounds and then press change system sounds. It'll take a bit to load. Once you get here, you'll want to go to recording then scroll down until you find your cable output and make sure it is enabled. If it is not enabled, right click on it and click enable here. But I already have mine enabled, so that's good. So then you can just select that and you'll have that there. The next thing you'll want to do is go to your system sounds and you can just go to the sounds on your taskbar, press open sound settings. And then from here, you're going to want to change your output device to voice meter input. And this is like the spe specific one. Don't change it to aux input. We'll use that for something else later. And then you can also change your input device to aux meter uh, voice meter aux output that's the other option and then the next thing you'll want to do is go to app volume and device preferences okay for this example my apps don't seem to be showing up here but what you'll want to do is so you have your separate stuff here say for example discord is what you want you'll want to change your discord like you want discord to be separate from your desktop audio your desktop audio will now be voice meter input as you can see here, you can click and it'll be voice meter input and you'll want to go and change your discord to cable input and that will change it so that you get separate audio. And that's kind of what I have here. I have my desktop audio in OBS set to voice meter input and my, um, my discord is set to cable input and they're both separate, which is exactly how I like it. And you can basically do that with any windows. You just have to set it through here, the apps in there. All right, now we can get into the microphone. So the microphone, what you want to do here is go to the first, actually preferably the second option. You could do the first one. Either If either one has any issues, try switching them. But for this one, I'll just be using the first audio input here. So change this to your microphone. I already have it set to that. Change it to the bottom, all the way at the bottom where it says MME. And that's what the microphone you want to select. And then from there, you have it se selected here. And then you want to make sure that A2 is selected and B2 and mono are all selected here. And make sure that A1, A3, and B1 are not selected. 
And then next thing you want to do is go to the right side here where you have a uh, voice meter VAIO and voice meter aux. Make sure voice meter VAIO is set to A1 and B1. And then make sure that voice meter aux is set to A2 and B2, both completely separate. And then that's what you have from there. Next thing you want to do is go to menu. And since you just installed this program, make sure you have system tray and run on Windows startup all on and selected. That way it'll start up when you start your windows. And next thing you want to do from here in menu is go to system settings slash options. And in here, this is a little important if you want higher audio quality. So click on buffering MME, press OK and change it to 2000. Now it'll do that and you'll have much higher quality sound. You can also do that with WDM and that's basically it for this. You can click out of that. And the next thing you want to do is install this over here. So I have um, Bitsum, that's the website, Process Lasso. Just download that and install it. And once you have that installed, you're gonna want to go to Active Processes. You'll see audiodg.exe is right here. You're gonna wanna right click on it, click CPU Priority, press Always, and make sure it is set to high. And then once you have that done, go back, right click it again, press CPU Affinity, Go to Always, and then press Select CPU Affinity. I only have four uh, CPU cores, and you want to make sure that it is only set to one of them. You cannot have it on all four, or it'll, or it'll sound a little glitchy. Make sure it is only set to one. I have it set to my CPU zero. Make sure that is all good, and then you'll have that done. So basically what that does is, like, if you have it through Discord, like using this program, your microphone will sound a little glitchy as if you're lagging and if you have bad Wi-Fi. Now that you have your microphone kind of set up, uh, the next thing you want to do is go to wherever you have your audio inputs. So say you have your uh, OBS here or Discord, you're going to want to go to properties and make sure it is set to voice meter aux output. That will be your new microphone and that's how you do it. And the one thing about this is that there is a slight delay, but I honestly don't mind myself. And the last thing you want to do is so that you can change the base of your microphone is drag this around. So you see this panel above your microphone, uh, drag it around, you hear It'll sound terrible all the way over here. You do not want that. Make sure it is on the other side, the left side, low. I prefer mine in this general area down here. You can have yours set the same way. And that's basically it. Okay, I hope this tutorial helped some of you. And see you soon. Bye.